obsessed. That's probably the easiest way I could describe it. Is it an addiction? Eh, the, the jury's still out. But behind me, I've got $2,000 worth of sneakers and it's four pairs of shoes. This all started because I wanted to relive my youth. I wanted to buy the very first pair of Jordans that I ever had, the Air Jordan 4, which I'm wearing right now. Check it. Bam. So I discovered that you can buy these sneakers in any shoe that you've ever wanted on apps like StockX. But then this is when the obsession kicked in. But after I got my Air Jordan 4s, I realized, wow, there's all these Air Jordan 1s I don't have. And they have all these different colorways that I want. And then it kept going because then I realized, oh, you can actually make money reselling sneakers? Like, oh yeah, baby, I'm all about it. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. So as I'm building my shoe collection and figuring out how the sneaker game works, like, you know, which shoes are going to be a, a hot release that are going to sell out and also command a huge resale upside on StockX and other reselling apps. Well, then the release of the year was announced and that was this baby right here. This is the Travis Scott Jordan 1 collaboration. And I mean, they were talking about this shoe for months before it came out. Like it, everybody knew it was going to sell out, which it did. And now this shoe, uh, depending on what size you wear, it goes for anywhere between a thousand on up to 1500, maybe even like $2,000 for this sneaker. Uh, I mean, I love this sneaker. It's one of my favorite sneakers uh, in my collection. Ah, it's such a great shoe. So I thought I had found like a, a pricing arbitrage, like a way that I can make money. Because if you go on eBay, you'll find people selling Travis Scott's for 500, 600, sometimes as low as 200. And I just thought, wow, so somebody's actually selling these for 500. Like I could buy these on eBay and I can flip them on another app like StockX, Goat, whatever. I mean, make three, $400. Like that's like a no brainer. And that's when I should have figured that like, okay, maybe something's up here. Maybe there's something that I don't know. Either way though, I, I bought a few pairs. This is one of the pairs that I bought here. Uh, I got another pair, which I'll show a picture here in a second. And what I didn't realize was that counterfeits, counterfeits, counterfeits. There are some amazingly produced counterfeits nowadays that look just like the real thing. I mean, it blows my mind. So what I want to do today, I want to show you a few pair of shoes. I've got the Travis Scott's. I've got a pair of authentic ones I bought from StockX. Another pair that I don't think that they are authentic, even though I paid about $500 for them. And I'll show you why here in a second. And then here recently, Travis Scott had another collaboration with a Jordan brand. They did the Air Jordan 6s, which are these bad boys right here. And I bought a verified pair from StockX, which I'm holding here. And then I found one of the many sites that you can order fake shoes. <laughs> and I bought a pair of the Travis Scott sixes from DH Gate, where I have learned that you can buy almost every single awesome shoe that it's ever been created. And they just, they look almost identical. I wanna show you that so that you can see uh, the difference is because if you're trying to flip shoes, trying to make money, trying to hack your wealth, you better know what's out here and you will be amazed at how crazy these counterfeits are. So let's go ahead and take a look at these right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. And I really didn't discover the whole counterfeit thing until I received my first pair in the mail. I bought these from eBay. I uh, got them in and right when I opened up the box, I knew it. Like you could tell without a doubt. I'm gonna upload some pictures, it might be hard to tell, uh, but you could just tell like the, the material wasn't leather. Uh, it was almost like it was plastic. Um, it, it just looked shady. Now I was very fortunate to where the buyer, I'm not really sure where he bought them from, but he didn't know either. Uh, at least that's what he told me. And I was able to get a full refund. And then the second pair I received was these. And when you look at these, I mean, the, the leather just, it felt real. I mean, it's got the tumbled leather. I mean, everything about it, it was hard to see like that these were fake. And I, I sat on them for a while. I didn't really want to wear them yet. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. And I watched all these different videos on YouTube, comparing the fakes with the originals. 
And I mean, I just kept looking. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I really don't know if they are fake. I mean, like, that's how good these are if they truly are, in fact, fake. So then, what I had to, what I had to do, just for my own peace of mind, was I ordered some real ones from StockX. And uh, actually, I'll forget how much I paid for these. I think it was around $800. Uh, these have not been worn yet. I've just been sitting on them. And when I get them side by side, I mean, yeah, I, I can tell like there is some discrepancy, but I mean, it's still amazing how close they are. And it's not just the shoes. I mean, it's the packaging. I mean, when you look at the boxes and uh, just the, the shoestrings, all the packaging, uh, the paper inside it, the labels on the box. I mean, it's just crazy how much effort that these counterfeiters will put into creating the shoe you know like it's just not just a fake shoe i mean it's a fake box it's the the fake uh what do you want to call these like the cardboard inserts that go into these i mean they spend so much time and energy making sure that they have truly copied uh, these shoe to make them look authentic. I mean, it is crazy. I'm gonna roll some footage here of the fakes versus the originals and just see if you can identify, you know, the differences looking at the shoe itself, looking at the packaging. Like, let's see if anything stands out in your eyes. So after the Travis Scott Jordan 1 experience of potentially having fakes, you know, buying the originals, like I, I had to do the same thing with the sixes. So I started doing research. I identified that most people that are buying counterfeits, they're going on this site, DHgate, and that's where they're getting them from. So I ordered a pair of the sixes and got these in the mail. I honestly forgot that I ordered them. And then I went ahead and ordered the authentic ones for StockX as well. I think I paid about $500 for these from StockX. And on DHgate, they were selling these for $200, um, which actually is a little bit more expensive than the other fakes that you'll find. Uh, you'll find them as low as $50, maybe around $100. So, and I ended up getting them in the mail about the exact same time. And I even showed my wife, I showed my oldest son, and I put them side by side and I said, compare. Like, which ones do you think the real one versus the fake? And guess what? Like, they couldn't tell. Like, they really couldn't tell. Um, and I'm looking at it now. Like, the only thing I see off the top is that the shoestring on the fake, the unauthentic uh, one here, like, it's it has a crease in it where, I mean, if you just steamed it out or ironed it, it'd be fine. But, I mean, even, like, the leather, like, you touch it. I mean, sometimes people say like the smell of the fakes doesn't smell like a Nike. I, I don't know. I mean, it's all about, about the same. What's that smell? And the crazy thing, and not just with the sixes, but also with the Travis Scott, the Jordan ones. And I've seen other people talk about this is that you'll find imperfections on the originals, like the, the authentic ones made by Nike uh that aren't on the fakes like sometimes the fakes are actually better made uh the quality control on these are actually better than what nike puts out i mean it is it's insane i'm gonna roll some footage here of the air jordan sixes i'm gonna put the fakes by the originals and see if anything stands out to you you know any discrepancies or if it looks fake or counterfeit in your eyes
Now the biggest discrepancy that I've seen on both pair of shoes is actually not on the shoe, it's the box. The original authentic Nike box is much bigger than the fake. And the same thing applies with the Air Jordan 6. I mean, it's actually noticeably different. I'm, I don't know what it is about the counterfeiters. Maybe they just don't want to make the uh, big boxes, which are the exact same size as the original, but there typically is a difference. And I will say that the original fake Travis Scott ones I got that I don't have now, like that box was even smaller than the ones, the one I have here. So it, it's so noticeable. So if you're not quite sure, obviously you don't have the original box to compare, but if you have it side by side, like you know which one is the fake and which one is the original. So you're probably wondering why am I doing this Air Jordan review on the Wealth Hacker Labs channel? Well, first of all, uh, this was these were all bought with my business credit card. So this is totally a business expense because the sneakers, the Jordans, like this is all part of the Jeff Rose Wealth Hacker brand. So business tax deduction, reason one. Reason two, I mean, it's sneakers, and I love talking about sneakers, so that's reason number two. That's all I gotta say about that one. But three, I know many of you are looking for ways to hack your wealth, and reselling sneakers is an easy side hustle, and it's also an easy way, man, if you truly wanna make a lot of money, like, you can do so reselling sneakers. Now, I'm just doing it on a super small scale. I'm doing it more for fun as a hobby, also showing my boys, you know, my oldest being 12, like, hey, I wanna show you an easy way that you can make 50 bucks, 100 bucks, maybe up to 500 to 1,000, and all you gotta do is buy a pair of sneakers when they drop, resell them on StockX, and we were talking about making a ton of money for not a lot of work. So that's the other reason why I wanted to do this video. What do you think of the Jordans? I think they're sweet. Many of you might not be into sneakers, but I still wanna know, like when I show you what I've got here, like do you, can you tell the difference? Can you tell the counterfeit versus the real thing? Like I am still like so mind blown, like how amazing this stuff is. And I think why I'm really mind blown is because when I was growing up, lived with my mom in LA, like she would always take me to swap meets and they always had fake Nikes, you know, the shirts, fake Adidas, like the shoes. And like, I just remember seeing, I mean, it was so easy to pick out the ones that were fake as opposed to these, like, I mean, they're just so, the, the craftsmanship is just, it's, it's, it just, it blows my mind, seriously blows my mind. And for many of you that maybe do not know this, like maybe you want to sell or start reselling sneakers and you, like me, go on eBay and you see, oh my gosh, look, I can buy these for $300 and resell them here. Um, that's when you start have to ask those questions. Like buying sneakers on eBay, you, you got to be very, very careful. Make sure that the, the person selling their profile, they've got a lot of ratings, they've got a lot of reviews and like there aren't any penalties or you know people get on one star reviews like that is one clear um just giveaway like if that person's legit or not so just be careful but seriously i want to know can you tell the counterfeits can you from the real things can you see the difference and if you have some more interest i actually bought, i tell you I'm, I'm obsessed i bought some more shoes from dhk because i'm i want to see like i just have to know the, the reels versus the fakes, like how good are they? Um, I, I just, I don't know. I'm just doing it for fun. I'm gonna have some more videos just because, you know, business tax deduction, people. That's the beauty about doing this stuff online is that you can buy a lot of stuff and write off a lot of stuff in the process. I don't think you're really hacking your wealth that way, but I'm enjoying the process and that's all that matters. All right, y'all, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. And go ahead and check out some more footage here of the two different shoes. So if, you're, if you haven't seen enough yet, I'll give you more and let me know if you can tell from the fake from the original. All right, y'all, peace.